Okay, welcome back guys. Let's get into the stock market technical analysis. I'm gonna go through the charts. I think there's some relevant information that I can cover for the next trade setup or actionable trade. So I'm gonna go through that. As I go along guys, if you're finding value, please drop me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I'm going through day, you know, I don't put out videos every day, but I do go through several ideas in my videos. And then finally, if you're interested in getting, getting kind of daily updates, I have a private member group. Really what I'm doing is posting it charts in there. I'm posting additional trade setups, actionable trades. I'm communicating on a more frequent basis in that private member group. So if you're interested in that, we've, we've, We've hit a lot of winning trades, uh, really this weekend, the, the back half of last week um, in that private member group. So if you're interested in that, link in the description below. It's like five bucks a month is what I'm charging. So, okay, let's get into it. Triple Qs, guys. Let's look at the hourly here. The hourly, okay. We've got resistance right here, the gap. Again, you can see, here's your uptrend line on the hourly for triple Q's, boom, big uptrend right there. All right, that is pretty much that, all the holiday trading, the holiday rally. We broke that trend right there. There's your sell signal. Again, that had negative divergence on the momentum. You can see it kind of right there where momentum was dropping off. And then obviously you broke trend. Um, made a nice move down. All right, we bounced. A little bit ahead of support. We did catch this bounce here. We were long, uh, at least I was, in the private member group uh, and rallied up to resistance here. That's the gap fill, all right? That's the gap fill from the from the uh, the breakdown. So that's a very logical target right now for uh, resistance. Today, and you can see right here, we the last few hourly closes, no hourly closes above that. And then even uh, today, we gapped up. I, we, we gapped up or started to move higher and then the sellers just smashed that thing back down for an hourly close back below that resistance level. Okay, so that is, and then obviously come down, hit some support. We got some minor support right here at about 404. Rally back up into resistance and that's where we're at right now. So I think it's objective to short uh, or to be short right here uh, it, on this move back into resistance. Okay, we're at or near resistance. They might kind of grind it a little higher, but I don't see a meaningful break above that um, because we're at major resistance. Now, if we do break above, then maybe we want to look at stopping out, but it's objective. It's, uh, it's a good risk reward ratio right here, basically right here and right now at this 408 uh, 80 of resistance. And so what I'm seeing is if we reject here, which is what I'm expecting, uh, we, we should run down and start taking out these lows and start making lower lows. I suspect we're heading down. If I go back to the daily, uh, here's the daily chart. Uh, you can see we have some former reaction highs right in here as resistance. So I'm suspecting that we're going to head down to that level as the next level of support on, on the daily chart, 392.50. Uh, and probably lower, to be honest. Uh, there's a gap to fill down here uh, at 378. I should probably mark that out. Uh, that would be a target as well. <clears throat> okay, so again, biggest the biggest picture that I have right now, I guess the most relevant thing is that it's objective to be short right here and right now at current levels, 408, 90-ish. Now, obviously, if we keep going higher, then then it changes that outlook and we'll want to potentially look at areas to stop out. There's no guarantees in trading. You know, the, all we can do is find key levels of resistance and support, take opportunities, manage risk, and know when we're wrong. So that's it, you know, and if you don't take the opportunity or, or the shot when we're at resistance, then, you know, then we're, you're never gonna you're never gonna get any of them right. So, okay, that's what we got. A couple other stocks that look interesting to me, JP Morgan. This one has broken the trend line support. Uh, it did have negative divergence. Let me kind of clean this up. I'll show you guys. This is the daily chart here. You've got this pretty clean uptrend line, really just a robotic uptrend line with really no pullbacks along the way. Uh, and we've broken that trend line now right here. The only issue I have with this, um, and th we, we do have negative divergence here on the daily. It's, it has shown up. So there's your negative divergence on the PPO and the RSI. Um, and so the trade looks good, but the only issue that I have with this is kind of two things. One, 
We did break trendline resistance right about here. Not super impulsive. It's We've just been drifting lower and the buyers are kind of there and it's just not that impulsive price action. And two, I see down here, we've got earnings at uh, you know tomorrow, basically. I don't know if it's after the bell or before the bell. Financials, I think, are usually after the bell, but I could be wrong. So earnings, this thing is going to hold up into earnings. So it might do this. I'm not going to take a position on this, but after earnings, let's say it pops up, hits this major trend line here. If it does that, it's going to be a divergent high, and it's going to be hitting that major trend line resistance. This goes all the way back to October of 2022. You've got support, support. There's another reaction. Uh, and then we got some reactions from below, all right? A couple right in there. So they might pop up and hit that. And that would be an objective short. If they overshoot it, wait for it to come back down. But um, again, I would be looking for potentially that move. If it gaps down, then obviously that's going to be, uh, that would be a sell signal. Uh, but I'm going to just wait till after earnings to take to see what this wants to do. Okay, MGM covered this in the private member group uh, just yesterday. Essentially what I was looking for, uh, I posted the trade uh, thinking we're going to head down to the 200 day moving average and you can see we got pretty close. That's kind of close enough. I mean, you start approaching that and the buyers are stepping in. I mean, you take your profit, you know. And so that was the minimum target uh, was that 200 day moving average. Uh, I think there's more downside here, but you know, we obviously saw that kind of reactionary bounce. So we need to see the triple Q start to break down and then this one will follow suit. Uh, again, this one on the daily chart, you've got support, support, there's another reaction right there. There's three, you've got negative divergence showing up and you have a impulsive breakdown of the trendline support sell signal. Okay, so we sell down, hit the 200, they buy. It's resistance is probably right in here about 43.77 and then I think we're going to continue lower. So that's what I got on that one. Uh, COF, another one I pointed out to the private member group. This one, negative divergence on the daily chart. Clean uptrend line that we can kind of monitor. We've got a breakdown and a sell signal here. Earnings isn't for a little while. I suspect this one because it's a financial company is kind of, it's a holdout. It's waiting for JP Morgan probably to start setting the tone for the financials. So that one's probably going to hold out. Again, this could rally. Um, I'm not super in love with it right now until I see a little more impulsive selling and we get JP Morgan out of the way, I'll probably be a little bit more involved with this one, but it's a nice setup. It's just not, you know, we're just not seeing uh, the price action yet. So likely JP Morgan earnings will probably set this one in motion. Uh, and then the KRE, which is your regional banks. I noticed this one was breaking down today as well. Let me see, here's KRE again. Regional banks, you've got support, support, support. There's another reaction. And again, breaking down. Again, not super impulsive quite yet. It looked a little more impulsive early, you, earlier in the in the day, in the morning. The buyers are stepping in. So it's not that impulsive quite yet. The other one about this one, no negative divergence. I don't see any, I see downward momentum and I see downward price action, not a divergence. So tells me, you know, it's I'm a little mixed on it. So again, we'll wait for JP Morgan to clear out. Okay, that's really all I have. So I'm gonna get this video out because obviously I think it's relatively time sensitive. And uh, guys, drop me a thumbs up. Join, join the private member group if you're interested in additional trade ideas. I'll catch you on the next one.